Hey guys, welcome back. It's your brother in Christ Weston. Thanks for joining me today. So today's article comes out of Now the End Begins. Let's get into it. Okay, so um, I took a couple of days off and then I just see massive things that we need to be talking about. So check this out. For the first time in half a century, this was uh, yesterday, um, public hearings will be held on Capitol Hill to present evidence of UFO incursions and alien to human contact. Just to remove the stigma of otherworldly beings, right, which we know as believers are fallen angels. They're demonic. They are demons. Um, and, uh, well, they're fallen angels and demons are something different. But we use the word demonic as a sense to categorize everything that is satanic or wicked or not of God, right? Um, uh, <clears throat> so let's read. It says, according to the report of the New York Times, public hearings on the Capitol will, will be the first in five decades, wow, to explore what these military sightings of unexplained aircraft could mean and help remove the stigma from members of military reporting the encounters. So it seems like there's backlash or people need to hush hush when they're coming in contact with these beings, which, you know, we talked about this before. There were, I, I did a video where it was uh, talking about ghosts, um, uh, yetis, elves, crop circles, poltergeists, UFO or aliens and UFOs, um, mythological, mythological or it was mytho, mythical creatures and legendary creatures or something like that. Um, that was a couple of videos ago and uh, spirits, right? And so when we think about this, it just leads me to believe, what about all those those sightings and uh, bones that they have found of giants, right? That they've tried to delegitimize or things of the of the of a of an ancient um, antiquity, right? Back before the flood, um, just to just to get you thinking, all of it leads, all of it leads at this this crescendo to the Bible, and the Bible will be proved more and more and more by stuff like this, and people will have to accept at some point that Jesus is who he says he is, or eternally reject him forever, and uh, and you'll end up in hell and in the lake of fire, which is um, a bad day. So let's see, it says here, Pentagon officials are scheduled to testify, Pentagon officials, wow, are scheduled to testify in the front, in front of a House Intelligence Subcommittee on Capitol Hill next week regarding unexplained UAPs, more commonly known as unidentified, uh, unidentified flying objects or UFOs. Long before the United States government decided to start, to start telling you the truth about UFOs and UAPs, unexplained aerial phenomenon, NTEB, hold on, sorry, I gotta make sure I can see my son here. Um, what is it? Uh, I was telling you the facts, what was really going on in the heavens above your head. What we've been telling you comes out of the mouth of Jesus Christ himself, who warned in the last days would be like the days of Noah. Days that begin with fallen angels having sex with human women and getting birth to hybrid giants and were nothing but wickedness. I haven't reviewed this article, by the way, and just, I mean, we're on the same page here, uh, me and this article. Um, coming soon to the theater near you uh, in the days after the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. So let's read. He, he says, Luke 17, 26 through 30. And it was in the days of Noe, or Noe, or Noah, uh, so it shall be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and the, fl the flood came and destroyed them all. Sorry, I got a perp. Likewise, also, it was in the days of Lot. They did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus, it shall be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. How well I remember the day back in 2019 when the U.S. government ever so casually just began admitting that UAPs were actually a thing, that UFO and alien incursions were actually happening without a word of apology or previous deception, which is you've been deceived the entire time. Um... Without a trace of guile, they were so full of. During the blank emic, a number of UFO stories were leaked, right? That's how, that's how this started happening, which is one thing after another. We talked about this. And the truth came out in precious little bite-sized pieces, right? Nice to see the Pentagon finally catching up to the, the KJB Bible or the, or the Bible, but they're getting closer. Not really, but they're getting closer, right? House Intelligence Committee panel to hear UFO testimony next week from Newsmax. According to the report in the, the New York Times, Tuesday, the public hearings on Capitol Hill will be the first in five decades to explore what military sightings of unexplained aircraft could mean and help remove the stigma from members of military reporting encounters. Wow, it's crazy. People being told to shut up or like to hush them up or who even knows, maybe even take their lives. Since this is an area of high public interest, any undue secrecy can serve as an obstacle to solving the mystery or it can prevent us from finding a solution to potential vulnerabilities. Rep. Andre Carson, uh, looks like a Democratic chair of India, Indiana, chair of Intelligence Committee, sub, uh, Subcommittee on Counterterrorism, Counterintelligence, and Counterproliferation, which is holding the hearing, told the Times. What's happening here? Sorry, my monitor, my son has done some, some kind of thing on my monitor where um, 
uh, it goes off. Yeah, he messed with it. So um, I have to make sure I can see him. Uh, counterintelligence was just holding the hearing. The hearing is about examining steps that the Pentagon can take to reduce the stigma around surrounding reporting of military pilots and civilian pilots. This is nuts. Um, hearing comes in report of June 2021. The UAP task force, which uh, was where I've, I've gone over multiple things that they've released, which elevated evaluated more than 100 unexplained counters between strange aircraft members of military dating back to 2004. According to the report, the task force focused on a period because each incident was reported under a similar tailored process to better capture UAP events through formalized reporting. The task force determined on the objects reported were most likely physical in nature because they were picked up through multiple sensors, radar, infrared, ele electro-optical weapon seekers, and visual, visual observations. These hearings will be the first since 1970. Crazy. After Congress closed the U.S. Air Force Project Blue Book when former President Gerald Ford, then a Republican congressman from Michigan, held a public hearing in 1966 after 40 people, including 12 officers, reported seeing UFOs. I believe the American people are entitled to more thorough explanation than what has been given to them by the Air Force to date. The Himes cited Ford in a letter to two House committees on March 28, 1966. Air Force officials testified about the sightings. Those earlier hearings in the issue determined that reports were not a threat to national security. That's a bunch of BS. We all know that that's what they say every single time. And it's probably, you know, actually, it's probably not a threat to national security because they're working with the national security. These demonic fallen angels, fallen angels are working with them. And then demons, the, the disembodied spirits of giants are working as well. That's a guarantee, bro. They just say that because they want to make it, they want to pin as if it's a, it's not anything supernatural. It is another nation, right? It could be, it could be an adversary, right? But they'll never let you know that. They'll never say that they're in cahoots. Um, and that's, that's clear because Satan works his way into the world. Demons want to inhabit people like you and me who were once unbelievers who cannot be inhabited by spirits anymore, but can definitely be oppressed and demonized by spirits operating in the flesh, right? Um, because the Holy Spirit takes reside here, right? So there's no demonic spirit that can take over me. Um, but, uh, but you know, we talked about, I talked about that it could, uh, it could take over, demons could take over um, computers and, and, and phones and monitors and um, maybe a mouse, you know, and I don't know, a fork or whatever. Um, I was eating some cake. Uh, uh, yeah, so um, that, that just makes total sense to me, right? Um, that, that you would say something like this just to try to, um, try to dodge certain questions or try to dodge facts, uh, factual things that people are gonna ask, right? You're, you're very um, conspicuous, very reading between the lines. You're not saying it, but you're saying it kind of thing. Um, so yeah, and it says here that the abilities of the observed aircraft are not beyond the technology of the day. Yeah, okay, that's a bunch of BS as well. Two reasons that are no longer held by the Pentagon. Um, what is it? Uh, uh, June report determined that the current flurry of encount encounters could pose a risk to national security and military flight safety and the capabilities of the observed aircraft exceed what technology by the U.S. and even suspected capabilities of our enemies would allow. UAP clearly posed a safety of flight issue and may pose a challenge to national security. The report said the UAP would also represent a national security challenge if they are foreign, I just mentioned this, foreign adversaries collection platforms, meaning they or, or provide evidence a potential adversary has a developed a breakthrough or disruptive technology, right? So they're going to blame it um, as being like some kind of uh, uh, not otherworldly technology yet until they're ready to release it, but that they're, they're, they're leading on breadcrumbs to try to point it to an adversary to try to make you look like like maybe they're after us right and it even turn your mind and brainwash you towards it towards another nation uh who may not be doing it and they have no idea um it says here top five shocking ufo sightings there are some that there from the history channel uh here's one that was what last year or two years ago that was reported to us uh and that's it so that's the video guys there's so much there's so much to talk about here if you want me to talk about this more like giants um, I've talked about old, old gods, pagan gods, Egyptian gods, Norse gods, Greek gods, this gods, that gods, you name it. Um, things that Gentiles have believed in outside of the Jews, um, what is it in that we see all throughout the Old Testament that it's, it's by fallen angels and they are still alive. See, those are celestial beings. They will not die and you won't die either. Your flesh will die, uh, but you'll get a new body and it's probably going to be this body just better. Maybe it looks better. I don't know. Maybe it's bigger. Maybe it's stronger. Maybe it looks like a superhero. Um, yeah, I don't know. But uh, that's clear. That's so clear. That's why the flood came. That's why the flood happened. 
uh, this intermingling of terrestrial flesh made in the image of God and celestial angel mixing together to make an abomination. And by that abomination came all these demigods. This is where we get Hercules. This is where we get Hades. This is where we get Zeus. And I'm not saying they're not true. I think they're absolutely true. They're just not gods. They can die. Uh, but their spirits, right, they will go. Or giants are Nephilim, right? They will go. Uh, their, their bodies have disembodied. Once the body dies, it has disembodied spirit. It's a demon. This is what the book of Enoch tells us. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you all think about this. Next week is going to be crazy. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next one.